The greatest commercial maritime disaster, just edging out the Titanic by death toll, occurred on April 27, 1865, when the steamboat Sultana exploded and sunk on the Mississippi River near Memphis, Tennessee. Approximately 1,700 passengers, most of them recently discharged Union soldiers on their way home, lost their lives. The Sultana was considered a state-of-the-art steamboat when it was built in 1863. It was 260 feet long and could legally carry 376 passengers. Like many other boats, the Sultana came under fire during the Civil War. In 1863, the upper works sustained heavy damage on two occasions. As the war went on and the North began to overtake more of the Mississippi River Valley, the Sultana was called upon to carry troops and supplies for the Union Army. On the 21st of April, 1865, the Sultana made its way from New Orleans and headed north. As the boat was moving upriver, a crew member discovered a leaking boiler and hired a boiler maker to address the issue in Vicksburg, Mississippi, two days later. After assessing the damage, the boiler maker, R.G. Taylor, informed Captain J. Cass Mason that two sheets needed replacing. Not wanting to waste time or money, Mason told Taylor to patch up the problem for the time being and assured the boilermaker that he'd fully address the situation once he reached St. Louis. Taylor thought this was a bad idea, but he did the minimal work that Mason requested, and he sent the Sultana on her way. So now you might be wondering, well, why was Captain Mason in such a hurry? Well, newly released Union prisoners of war were waiting in Vicksburg to catch a ride north to Illinois. The U.S. government was paying out $5 a man, and steamboat captains were offering lucrative kickbacks to Army officers who filled their boats with returning soldiers. On April the 24th, the Sultana left Vicksburg, carrying approximately 2,300 passengers, which is six times its normal capacity. The former POWs they were weakened from hunger and disease. Yet, they were understandably in excellent spirits despite the cramped quarters, since the war was behind them and they were finally on their way home to see their families. The Sultana reached Memphis, Tennessee on April 26th to unload cargo and to pick up coal across the river in Arkansas. At 2 a.m. on April 27th, the patched boiler it exploded, followed by two of the three other boilers in quick succession. Hissing steam and red-hot shrapnel flying like missiles, it killed many of the passengers immediately. Others were hurled into the dark, frigid river like ragdolls from the violence of the explosion. Passengers grabbed whatever they could to use as life preservers, doors, mattresses, bales of hay. There was only one lifeboat on board the ship. The flood conditions of the river, the black of night, and the poor physical condition of most of the passengers made the odds of survival rather slim. At least 1,700 of the 2,300 people on board that ship lost their lives that night, and yet the tragedy it garnered very little attention at the time. As newsworthy as it was, the Sultana disaster occurred in April of 1865, a month of unprecedented events in American history. This was the same week that General Robert E. Lee surrendered, the same week that Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. Furthermore, on April the 26th, the day before the Sultana went down, John Wilkes Booth, Lincoln's killer, he was caught and shot dead. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you actually find out when we put out new videos. If you're looking for something else to watch right now, why not check out another video from the archives of this channel on the screen now. And as always, thank you for watching.